The following is Fall 2008 Math 115 Department Final Version 3, Number 12, Number 13, and Number 14. Number 12, Graph x plus 2y greater than 12. Now, this question is supposed to have uh, four graphs uh, as your options to choose from. Now, the problem is I have hard time to graph that. Now, instead, uh, I will treat this like a uh, free response question and what we will do is to graph this inequality now two things uh, first one uh, we will see that the inequality has no equal sign which means later on the graph will be the boundary of the region we have later on will be uh, dashes or some people call that broken line Okay, now uh, what I usually do, what I usually teach my students in my class first is we need to take care of the boundary in which we set the inequality becomes an equation. And then from there, what I will do is uh, to graph this line, which will be our boundary. Now, to graph this line, which is in general form. I I will try to find uh, by doing x intercept and y intercept. Now by looking at that, x intercept will be uh, two comma zero. I hope you know how I get it. Uh, every x intercept the y equals to zero, right? When you set y equals to zero, what happened to the x? Okay, and the y intercept is uh, zero comma one. Now try it when for y intercept the x is 0, right? You plug in x equals to 0, and then you solve for that equation 2y equals to 2, therefore the y equals to 1, right? That way we find uh, the boundary of this uh, inequality here. If I graph that, x intercept is 2, 0, and the y intercept is 0, 1. And remember that this will be a broken line, right? So the graph will be approximately something like this second thing I do I will check uh, zero zero okay I will test zero zero if zero zero is a solution Uh, then I will shade the region containing that zero zero. Now, if zero zero is not a solution, then I will shade the region not including the zero zero. Now, if I plug in zero zero into this inequality, let's see what happened. There will be zero plus two times zero. Is it greater than two? Zero. Is it greater than two? Of course not. So we will shade the region not containing origin okay because zero zero is not a solution to that inequality and therefore uh, this region is not the solution of that inequality is the region not containing zero zero is the one a solution okay now of course the third one uh, is the fact that it is uh, not including equal sign that it is a dashes which we have handled earlier okay now this is the way i will do it uh, i will do it in my class why I do it this way? Because in Math 125 and on later on, there's a chance you need to graph an inequality with two variables in which the boundary is not aligned. Okay? However, I have to admit that our textbook actually teaches us to do it slightly differently. Uh, our textbook will teach us to solve for y here, which means I subtract by x and then divide by 2. 
Now this is quite a risky business because if if you divide by negative number, let's say if you have negative two for this negative two for this two i here, if you have negative two i instead and you divide by negative two, remember that you need to reverse the inequality sign, which a lot of students forget during the final. Okay, but if you think you are comfortable in solving for y, then go ahead. From here we see that the slope of the boundary is uh, negative one half. The y-intercept of the boundary is 0, 1. And because y is greater than this expression, you will shape the region above that line. You see the slope is negative 1, the y-intercept is 0, 1. I mean, the slope is negative 1 half, right? So you get that line there. You use dashes because it is uh, not including equal sign, right? And we shade above that. We shade above that line because the y is greater than uh, that negative 1 half x plus 1. Okay? That's for number 12 and two different ways of doing that. Of course, the one I thought in my class is longer, but I am not preparing you only for the final. I am preparing also for the next class, in which the inequality you see may not be uh, linear, uh, for the boundary may not be linear. Number 13, solve by addition method the system of equation. Okay, now, uh, actually they don't need to tell you to solve it by addition and even if you don't solve it by addition method they will not know but the hint is given to you there because usually that's the easiest method now you see uh, we will solve this by addition notice that uh, it is mainly because the coefficient of the y is already in opposite so that if i add these two equations at once i get 5x the y cancels equals to 20, which implies x equals to 4, right? Now, do not jump to b and say that's the solution right away. Why? Because it is true that the x equals to 4, but we don't know for sure that the y is negative 2 or not. So, what I will do is to substitute this x equals to 4 into either one of that, in, uh, the, either one of that equation. Let me choose equation 2 x minus 3y equals to 10, right? That's equation 2. I will replace the x by 4 and then solve for y. Negative 3y equals to 6, therefore y equals to negative 2. Okay? Therefore, we confirm that the x is 4 and the y is negative 2. Okay? That's for number 13. Number 14, solve by substitution. Again, they tell you, they give you the hint, which is uh, not necessary. We know that if we are given a system of equation in which one of the variables is isolated, in this case, actually, both equations has the y isolated, then the best method to solve this system will be by substitution. Okay? Now y equals to x minus 2 and y equals to 2x. So if I replace the y on the top by the y at the bottom, this is what I get. Okay, now what I will do then, I subtract by x both sides. I have 2x minus x equals to negative 2 or x equals to negative 2. Now, do you notice that you have only one solution with x equals to negative 2? And there's no solution uh, that may can make you avoid that uh, this is the solution right okay i mean i mean in in other words if you have option e here that says that none of the above then you need to check your y okay but well anyway let's check our y y equals to like if i replace this x uh, and i plug it into the either one of the equation let me put it into the second equation y equals to 2x and I know that my x is negative 2 I replace that x by negative 2 I get y equals to negative 4 right from here we see that and we confirm that the x is uh, the coordinate is actually negative 2 comma negative 4 right now this is for fall 2008 math 115 the 
department final version 3 number 12 number 13 and number 14